The 800 is its own very unique distance. It requires that blinding white light kind of hard lactic work where you just throw in your body at the track as, as long and as hard as you can. It goes by in a flash and it's funny, most of the time you don't even remember the race. You know, you execute on the track and then after you finish, it, it kind of all just disappears. There's really no dig deeper and you'll get better results when you're in an 800. It's more is have you done the preparation to let your body move the way it's going to move, the way you, you really want to move when you're out there in a race. Are you, if you've done the preparation, you're going to find the race is smoother. Whereas I think that in a longer distance race, if you just, you know, if you can really go to the well and push yourself better than the guy next to you, you're probably going to have a better performance. Anthony's success is driven by a whole bunch of factors, uh, aside from his physical gifts. Uh, he's a highly intelligent guy and he's an emotionally intelligent guy, so he's incredibly self-aware. And he can give really accurate, honest feedback and he can receive it. So we don't worry about a lot of fuzz in our relationship. I really enjoy, you know, showing up every day and just, you know, trying to focus in on like, okay, so what is, this, what is the skill I need to practice today? Uh, because I think I've been able to really um, get it in my head that if I want to be good at, at, you know, at the 800, I have to do everything right. You know, I have to, I have to take care of all the details. And I think that what that's done is it's allowed me to search for things that I wanted to do right, not just like wait and see if it worked out. The things I really care about, I, I tend to kind of hyper focus on, and. Uh, you know, maybe that's not best for everything, but for track, it's really worked out for me. Anthony's strengths on the track, primarily is that he's incredibly kinesthetically aware. Maybe more so than, maybe not any other athlete I've worked with, but certainly in the very, very high percentage. Uh, his feel for bodies around him when he's running, uh, how far committed he is in terms of his energy systems and what he can and can't do is unbelievably accurate. And I've learned to just trust that. I've got total faith in the guy. Uh, when he shows up and he said he's says he's ready to achieve something, then I know it's, it's game on. The most challenging part of being a Canadian athlete is the winter, honestly. But I, I'm, I compete in outdoor sport and uh, I love the country I live in, I love the place I live in, but uh, getting through the winter is, is tough. It may be a very North American thing to lament what we don't have, and the reality is we have much more than we don't have. You're always trying to improve things, but there's a tendency again to, to look on what's limiting. And we're in the greatest country in the world to live in, in my opinion. Uh, we got a great track here. There's a bunch of fit, healthy, focused people that are dialed in and have great attitudes. I'm not trying to avoid the question. I just think there's so much that's working right. Uh, if we get a little wrinkle, it's just about solving that wrinkle, not about focusing on what's the big inhibiting factor. So one of my goals is to qualify for the 2015 Pan Am, Para Pan Am Games in Toronto. But there's something special about competing for Canada in Canada. That that's really one of the only times that you know the general public really cares almost as much as you know as it means to you. You know that it means as much to everyone, everyone who's involved, and uh, and so there's just this this great energy surrounding the whole event. There's a line from uh, Top Gun. <laughs> Where the carrier commander's talking to Maverick about him writing checks with his note that he can't cash. I hesitate to do that, but I'm comfortable being uh, fairly assertive because I know Anthony is. I mean, our goal is not to be content qualifying being on the team for Pan Ams. I know he's thinking podium. I know how difficult that is. I know how good the competition is, but we train that with that in mind all the time. If other people show up and do it better, that's just sport. You can't get too much. But if he's on and we get in fifth, then he'll be running for the podium.